Can we do a little preaching this morning? Would, would that be all right? Yeah, very good. Okay. We don't need to talk well, about it. Now listen to me. Hopefully you haven't fallen asleep yet because I don't want you walking out of here thinking I said something I didn't say. So if, if someone next to you is getting ready to sleep, just slap them in Jesus' name. It's okay to make sure that they're still awake because we want to make sure they catch this, okay? The bottom line is God wants you. See, the greatest thing you and I can do is to give our life to Him. And God knows that if we surrender our life to Him, every part of our life, including giving, will come under the Lordship of Jesus. And if you didn't know this, let me just tell you real quick, giving is a part of worship. Hello, is this thing on? You look up to get the plate, and it's Jesus giving you the plate. Would you write another check? Ladies, would you dump your purse in there? Men, would you just kind of toss your billfold in there? Would you, <laughs> would you come up with the nerve to say, uh, you take plastic? That's question one. What's in your hands? Simon says, take a look at your hands. You know, God made you, you. And the reason that God made you, you, is because God wanted you to be you and nobody else. Did you catch that? You are uniquely designed. The fact the Bible tells us that while you were in your mother's womb, he, he knit you together. And he's blessed you with these gifts, talents, skills, and abilities to be used to further his kingdom and to serve him. So what is in your hand? Question two, how far will it go? There. When in reality, God's put it there. So we will come to him and say, Lord, help me use this to further the kingdom. Do you realize he woke you up today? And because he deliberately woke you up today, he wants you and I to intentionally live today for him. Isn't that good news? Hello? Are you willing to let Jesus have it? What's in God's hands? Isaiah tells us that God has inscribed us on the palm of his hand. You know, God has done so much for us. We, 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 just, we just take so much for granted. You know that? I mean no disrespect to you, but when your alarm went off today, did you, did you think did you thank the Lord for the gift of the day? Or did you just jump up and, and get ready to, to run into the day? See, there's a day coming where this heart here will stop. And these lungs will no longer be filled with air. And the blood won't flow through the veins. You see, if you're a Christian this morning, this is the closest to hell you will ever get. But if you're not a Christian this morning, this is the closest to heaven you will ever get.